Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. So I was gonna start off this video with a trailer reaction to DLC 2 for Call of Duty World War 2 that has just been announced. In fact, Call of Duty tweeted out saying it's gonna be called The War Machine. It's their DLC 2 for World War 2 and it's out on April 10th on PS4. It contains three multiplayer maps, a new war operation and a new zombies chapter. But unfortunately, I can't give you any of this information via a trailer because they seem to have not put one out. In fact, I'm going to refresh the Call of Duty YouTube just in case. No, there isn't a trailer right now, which I think is a little weird because it comes out two weeks today and yet for some reason they're avoiding giving us a trailer. Is it because they don't want to take focus away in a month's time or actually in six weeks time from the hype that they're going to be generating for Black Ops 4's community reveal. Maybe they kind of want us to ignore this DLC so that we can actually focus on that or something? Or I don't know, man. I think this is a little weird. I was really, really expecting a trailer today. In fact, that's why I've got everything set up here. I just punched my microphone. Whoops. I've got everything set up, ready to go to do a reaction, but I've got nothing to react to. Well, I guess that's not 100% the case because while there's no trailer, thankfully, Charlie and Tell are coming through once again with their millions and millions of Activision dollars, and they've got the lowdown on the DLC. So the Zombies map is going to be called The Shadowed Throne which is a, a kind of awkward name to say, the Shadowed Throne, the Shadowed Throne, like, it just feels a little bit weird off the tongue. The description is as follows. The Shadowed Throne brings our heroes into the heart of Nazi Germany to confront a desperate and murderous regime. Berlin is burning, and Dr. Straub's monstrous army is hell-bent on purging his city of the Allied invaders. Join Marie, Drosten, Olivia, and Jefferson on their descent into madness in a city wrapped, sorry, warped with terror, blood, and war as Nazi zombies step out from the shadows of history. To be honest, I don't think that sounds too bad at all. I want to caveat everything I'm saying in this video with the fact that if they had given us a trailer, it would have been infinitely better, but I think that that's kind of cool sounding. Going to Berlin, the heart of the Reich during the war, and exploring whatever kind of terrors there are in their very epicenter of everything going on during World War II, the capacity for experimentation and sort of exploration, all of the cool occult investigation and stuff that the Nazis were doing during the war, or thought to be doing, I suppose you could say as well, all of the mystical input that we had in Doris, in the original zombies from Treyarch, all of that basic fundamental stuff that was so interesting back in the day can really be infused into this map as well, which is a good formula in my opinion for a fun zombies experience and especially for some good narrative beats. That said, I don't want to be seeming like I'm the crazy hyped, insane, overly kind of enthusiastic YouTuber that I might be coming across as because of the fact that we still don't have a trailer. And I can't reiterate enough that without a trailer, my excitement is much lower than it otherwise would be. I think that it's probably a case of them just trying to deflect because they want Black Ops 4 to be the thing that we're really focusing on, but it just does feel a little unfortunate because I feel like Darkest Shaw was, in many people's opinions, uh, less than it could have been. Darkest Shaw could have been much more. It could have been a much more bombastic and exciting map, but instead we kind of got fog rolling in. We got an easter egg that did definitely have some cool moments, but... Uh, a map that, beyond that, didn't really keep people's attention, and certainly with the crazes of PUBG and Fortnite and even of Black Ops 3 right now, it just wasn't really good enough. And so I'm hoping that DLC 2 will be better, but without a trailer, I can't really sit here and be like, oh, I'm so excited because I'm not. Like, I need the trailer, right? So... I think this is a little weird. I think that the premise sounds cool and I am going to be getting more hyped as the days go by. When we eventually get a trailer, that will definitely hype me up more as well. I really am hopeful that I might be able to do some kind of hype content for this as well because I've been seeing if I could try and get like an interview sorted or something like that. But 
as of yet. Seems like that's not necessarily going to be happening, so I will keep you guys posted, but as far as I'm aware, all we know so far is that it's called the Shadowed Throne, they're going to Berlin, it's burning, <laughs> there are going to be zombies in it, and it's coming out first on April 10th on PS4. May 17th, Black Ops 4 Community Reveal is so close now, and boy oh boy, that's very exciting. So, I've been Mr. Roth Waffles, thanks for watching the video guys, if you've enjoyed then leave a like, and let me know, are you hyped for this? If you are, why? I mean, there's really been hardly any promo for it, so where's that hype coming from? Is it a story thing? Do you just like all of World War II zombies? Let me know. Similarly, if you're not hyped, let me know as well. Let's get some discussion going. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, tune into my channel for when we eventually get the trailer, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.